Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and today we're gonna be looking at this RTX 3070 Ti. It's actually from EVGA. Uh, it's the XC3 model. And one morning I woke up and noticed that the thermals were getting really hot. And it's not as hot as it could be here in Florida, uh, but still those thermals are concerning. So I went to go take a look and let me show you what I found. Coming and checking on my rigs, the 3070 Ti is all the way down here at the bottom. And if you look at it, you can see off rip, we have a problem. Not only is the middle fan completely missing, but that rear fan won't spin no matter what I do. So in today's video, we need to replace these fans on the EVJ XC3 model. But where the hell did that middle fan go? How the hell did you get there? So as you can see, we got the 3070 Ti out of the mining rig and we already got a replacement fans. This video is sponsored by GPUFanReplacement.com who helped us get our hands on these quality fans. And that's just it. I have been burnt in the past by buying from third-party manufacturers, even Amazon resellers, where they sell fake branded items. I, I reached out to EVJ Jacob and EVJ team to see if they have any replacement fans. At the time I reached out, they said no. Um, and so I just went and bought my own. GPUFanReplacement.com does offer various brands on their website. So you can go ahead and get replacement fans for different models, different generation GPUs. Um, and the good thing is, quality you might pay a little bit extra but you're going to get good quality fans so anyways you can see each of these fans here um, go to a specific position because of how short the wire run is so this one will be our third that one will be our second and that one will be our first sorry didn't mean to flick you off there but check out gpufanreplacement.com link in the description below and we're going to go ahead and start tearing down this gpu there's four screws for each fan but i'm going to see if we can attack this from the top uh, in order to replace the fans because I do have fresh thermal paste and thermal pads on this guy and I'd rather not mess it up but if we have to we'll tear it all the way down so we're going to switch over to the GoPro see if we can't get um, you know to the fan uh, area that we need to and, and the wiring from the top if not we'll tear it all the way down so let's get started. Real quick before I continue, I just want to show you. So I did attack this from the front um, and I did break the middle one on the fan that was broken. So, uh, or the clip, I basically use a flat head and I kind of pry up ever so carefully to kind of lift it over that locking pin or locking area. Uh, and then I push up, but that one I just bent a little bit too far, but it's okay, it's the old one. The blue, I'm going in through this channel right here. It slipped right in. Push that in. Brown, I'm following the original channel that EVJ designed. Gonna pin that, plug that in. And then black, same thing. You see these very tiny grooves where the wire is kind of tucked into. Follow that channel all the way along. Plug into that one. so everything is back together once again uh, I did want to mention the lighting that lights up this logo this GeForce RTX 3070i logo the connector is right here and when you take off this plastic housing just flip it over move it to your side try to work around it but uh, you could always unpin it or remove that connector right there if you wanted to but now that everything is good to go uh, we're gonna go see what the thermal results are I will say that these screws that hold the housing on 
should have been a T5 um, or a T4, but for some reason it was just free spinning. So it's like in between the two. So instead I used a TR6, uh, which may be the wrong bit because you can see in some of these uh, holes, it's kind of a little scuffed up. But either way, we got the housing off. We were able to put it back together uh, and good to go. So just use a different bit from the iFixit kit if you do not, if the T4 does not work. But all the connectors are in there besides the one that are broken. So let's slam this into the system. And obviously there's gonna be a thermal improvement with having all three fans working instead of just the front one. But let's see what the results are. All right, so we actually got the 3070Ti down to 73 degrees on the core versus 86. And we got the memory down uh, from about 74, 73, maybe 75 down to 68. So a decent improvement. And that's obvious because we got the more fans spinning to help cool the GPU. However, if we look very carefully, you will see that third fan is still not spinning. And I think that's because the fan itself, the header uh, where the, the pins go into might not be working or communicating. And I thought it was something in Linux, like maybe sometimes when the you know, the power delivery system or the VRMs on the back side of the GPU are not hot enough, the third fan won't spin. But I don't think that's the case. Uh, because on this EVGA uh, 3080, all three fans are spinning. And on the 3060 Ti, all three fans are spinning as well. So that's a different problem that I have to figure out in another video. Uh, it might be the, the pin out uh, where it connects to the PCB. But either way, we got the third fan and the first fan, they still work. Uh, there'll be good backups that I'll keep stored safely on the side. The middle fan is donezo. Uh, and a huge shout out to gpfanreplacement.com help, for helping us you know, get these fans in the first place uh, and replace it on our GPUs. They got all kinds of different models, so make sure you check them out, link in the description. And that's gonna do it for today's video. So we did improve thermals by, re by replacing the fans, but unfortunately I have a different problem on hand that I'll have to worry about at a later date and time. Do me a favor though, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.